If it's a quick news break with yours truly, I'm the one and only I go by the name of Mr. Taylor Farrell. It's with great sorrow that I report to you guys that one of Dallas's own 20-year-old young MC went by the name of Lil Loaded has officially passed away. While details remain scarce on exactly what happened to Lil Loaded, here's what we know. The Dallas Medical Examiner said Lil Loaded died on Sunday. Now, Lil Loaded's attorney has come out and confirmed that, uh, according to him, Lil Loaded has taken his own life. But again, just for clarity, no official cause of death has been released. But again, Lil Loaded's attorney is uh, saying that he took his own life. So unfortunate story, Lil Loaded. In 2019, he had his biggest record, which was that Glock Baby record. That thing's been viewed over 30, 40 million times on YouTube. He had a record with King Von which is obviously even more unfortunate because both of those young talents are no longer here with us. Um, just prayers to that man's family right now. So I don't want to get into the speculation game of exactly what went into Lil Lotus' death if if he did take his own life. I do want to report some, some of the factual information. Lil Lotus did drop off a statement on his Insta story. This will be the last one that he posted. He kind of said his farewells and was talking to his uh, God. He said, Dear Most High, please forgive me for all my shortcomings and all of the times I fell short of making you proud and being appreciative of the blessings that have been put in my life. Sometimes the lines are blurred because being solid and being heartless, I want to thank you for how far I've come and the people you put in my life to keep me grounded and humble through everything. And I love every single one of those people that are genuinely for me. I ask for interest into your kingdom through all of the mistakes. I know you love all your children. I am ready for my heart and soul to join. It is worth noting that Lil Loaded, whose real name is Deshaun Robertson, was expected to be in court for a case involving his best friend who was killed back in October of 2020. Now, law enforcement officials are claiming that Deshaun was the person that killed his best friend, Khalil Walker. Uh, he was facing a manslaughter charge and was expected to be in court this week for that. And maybe if you see some of the cryptic messaging in this inter story, one can believe that he was alluding to um, whatever happened with him and, and, and Khalil got arrested dead in that situation as well. Um, you could maybe Deshaun was trying to avoid that. I see a couple of uh, little Lotus friends online claiming that some of this involved a relationship that he was in with the young lady. Again, I don't know that to be true. A lot is up in the air right now. We want to be respectful to that man's family, but give the fans information that they're looking for as best we can. You know, um, Lil Lodi was signed to Epic Records. I think he signed back in 2019, if I'm not mistaken. He had that big record, like I said earlier, that Glock Baby record is how I got put up on him. Uh, it's just unfortunate. It's just really unfortunate, man. Whatever was going on in, in the young man's life, if, if, if he did commit suicide... I hate to see young men and anybody out there feel like there's no other ways to go about things than take than than obviously doing the easiest decision, which is taking your own life. Um, it's just unfortunate to see young black men not feel comfortable talking to people and not having people to talk to in certain spaces when they get in trouble. We all human. We make mistakes, bro. Um, even if those mistakes are some ser more serious than others. Um, yeah, this is an unfortunate one, man. Rest in peace, a little loaded. Another hit for that Texas area, man, that has taken a lot of hits in, in, in the rap community over the last uh, year and some change. And also, rest, rest in peace to Turn Me Up Josh, man, a four-time Grammy-nominated producer that produced a lot of uh, the music for Lil Durk that we obviously love and is dear to us. He passed away, and he was residing in Houston, Texas, if I'm not mistaken, as well. So rest in peace to... Um, little old and then turn me up, Josh. Both of those gentlemen no longer here with us, man. Details on Josh have not been revealed yet, but right now it's looking like, according to Little Old, it's agent, or excuse me, his lawyer, um, he committed suicide. All right. Thank y'all so much. Time, love, and support. If you got some things going on in the mental, man, please talk to somebody. I'm not telling you who to talk to, but find somebody to talk to that can hopefully convince you your life is worth living. Even if it's in the worst way, your life is still precious and worth living. I'm out.
Catch full new episodes of Pharaoh's music-based platform every day only on YouTube at It's Mr. Teller Pharaoh. You can also find clips, updates, giveaways, and more on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter, also at It's Mr. Teller Pharaoh. For all basketball fans, make sure you tune in to Pharaoh's daily highlights, reports, and commentary on YouTube at Hoops Pharaoh. And even more updates on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter at Hoops Pharaoh as well.